Hey guys, today I'm going to see how the OnePlus 7 Pro holds up in 2020. Today you can get this phone for under $500 on Amazon, which is much cheaper than its predecessor, the OnePlus 8 Pro. This phone has a Snapdragon 855, which was normal for a 2019 flagship. It has 128GB of storage and 6GB of RAM. The phone also has a 6.6 inch curved 1440p display at 90 hertz. First of all, this phone is very snappy. It can open up apps with no problem. You can see it's very quick. Especially with the 90 hertz, which the iPhone still doesn't even have, it makes it even smoother. But one annoying thing about this phone is the pop-up selfie camera because it is not in the display, so you have to to turn around and it pops up in and out of the phone. Another thing about that, you do get a full screen with display without any notches or cutouts. This phone has three cameras, a wide, an ultra wide, and a telephoto lens. And unlike other YouTubers, I would say this camera is on par with all other flagships. It may not be the best at night, but it still takes great photos. Now on the battery, you can get around 7 hours of screen on time with the battery and it has a 4000 milliamp cell so you can get one full day use out of this phone without any problems. If you decide to lower your screen down to 60 hertz, you will get more screen on time. A special part about using a OnePlus device is Oxygen OS. It is very easy to use and it encourages customization. For example, I can go in and change the fingerprint animation. I can change the wallpaper very easy to different live wallpapers. I can change the accent color, the shape of the notification bubbles, and my icon pack. Also about Oxygen OS, it is smooth and it's not like TouchWiz or One UI where it's kind of clunky and has so many stuff going on. And you could change your display colors. Let me go into, not here, let's go to System. And we can go see our options for the display. It is... Going into display, you could see you could change your refresh rate and you could change the colors. So I can go and change the calibration of the screen to vivid, natural, or advanced. I chose to put mine on AMOLED wide color gamut and put it on very cold so my screen has very punchy colors with this setting. OnePlus is also best at their software updates. As you can see, I go to About Phone, it is on Android 10, Oxygen OS 10.3.1, which is very new. Also about the phone is the fingerprint sensor is very accurate. Let me turn my phone off and on again. Very quick, and do it again. Get in the phone very quick. Um, it is much bigger and the fingerprint sensor is faster than the OnePlus 6T, which is the phone that was before this one. Now comparing this phone to the OnePlus 8 Pro in 2020, you will be missing out on wireless charging and official IP rating, but I do not think that is worth the extra cost because this phone is still much better in every other aspect, especially this full screen display, which is very immersive. So this is my review of the OnePlus 7 Pro. I think it is a definite great buy in 2020. Please like and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. Peace out.